Hi everyone, my name is Jimbo, and I'm pleased to announce that I've been hired by Jamflex Studios to actually make tours of different areas around RuneScape. This is an honor, and I'm really excited to take on this journey of wonders and dreams and imaginations. So, so buckle your seatbelts and let's get this roller coaster moving in an upward motion. So today we have a wonderful journey to go on as we'll be exploring the building we all know and love as the Lumbridge Castle. This is one of the oldest castles in RuneScape as far as I'm concerned and it's definitely a sight any RuneScape player will recognize as long as they're not deaf. Because <laughs> that would be they can't see. The Lumbridge Castle is complemented with a stone exterior to really bring out that old school look. The castle contains numerous blue flags with 45 degree unfinished triangles on them, which was probably just a lazy design by a person who thought no one would ever bother to look at them, ever. <laughs> The castle itself is protected by dangerous and intimidating black cannons. A little fun fact, they've never ever been fired. Cause no one gives a shit about taking Lumbridge due to its poor economic standing and useless activities. In the courtyard, we're greeted by some crossover character from Dragon Ball Z and Game of Thrones named Matilda or some shit like that. He's pretty vicious looking so don't get too close cause he'll probably bite off your phalanges. <laughs> We're now in the Lumbridge kitchen. We're greeted by the Lumbridge cook who's been here since 2001 and hasn't eaten, drank, or defecated since then. The kitchen contains state-of-the-art dollar store pots and pans, as well as rusty silverware that have never seen soap before. We have a dirty microwave over here used to cook hot pockets and mashed potatoes and also burn the flesh off of innocent passing adventurers. What are you doing in the Maya kitchen? Get out of here, Papa the Boopy. Oh, sorry to disturb you, stereotypical Italian chef. We'll get up moving. <laughs> oh, you boobity boobity. We're now in the Duke of Lumbridge's room. Any player can simply enter the room at any moment, at any time of the day or night, despite the Duke being of great importance to the city. Cause I'm allowed to cook The Duke is lucky enough to have a rare mahogany bed, rumored to be constructed by none other than Waldo himself. The Duke also enjoys reading books, as you can see this book which has turned yellow from the 14 years it's been open to the same page. Let's move on! Right now, I'm standing next to a Lumbridge Cannon. Since it's only 35 smithing to make cannonballs, anyone or their mother can come up on and start causing mayhem upon the innocent civilians of the town. <laughs> Just kidding, you stupid idiot. Didn't you hear me before? These haven't been fired ever. <laughs> Got you. I'd like to introduce you to my good friend of mine, Jeffrey. Um, it's John, actually. Jordan has been a banker here for seven years now. Tell us a little about a day in the life of a Lumbridge banker, Jet. Well, um, it gets a little boring, especially when I'm assigned to an unpopulated free-to-play world like this one. I don't see anyone up here for hours at a time. I like to play games like seeing how long I can keep my eyes open without blinking. I'm going on three hours and 13 minutes right now. Wow, that's incredible, James. Thanks for sharing. Well, that's all there is to Lumbridge Castle for today, Runescapeinators. Join me next time on our next tour. In the meantime, make sure to like, comment, and rate five stars down below. Take care, everyone, and remember, if a sheep tells you to climb a tree, you're probably on drugs, because sheeps are animals and they can't talk. Alright, bye now.